we're talking Washington Commanders. The Commanders have been sold. Uh, the Washington Commander Ownership Group has finally sold the team. Dan Snyder sold it for $6 billion to Josh Harris. Rich Eisen will be offering some advice to the new Commander's owner. I will offer some advice and react to the video as well. Here's, here's all you have to do as an owner, GM, whatever, in the NFL. I have said this before, and I'll say it again to all of you. I truly believe if I was given control of an NFL team and put in the front office, I think I could make it to the conference championship game of, of that conference within the first five years. That sounds nuts, but I truly believe that. If I took over the commanders tomorrow, I think we would be in the NFC title game within five years. Here's the deal. This is what you got to do. Get a quarterback and get a coach. That's it. And you may be saying, James, it's hard. It's too hard. Where do you find quarterbacks? Where do you find coaches? Two years ago, the Rams, when got Matt Stafford, they won the Super Bowl. Easy. The Saints got Derek Carr. This year, they're going to be in the NFC Championship game. Write it down. You go get a quarterback, you win. You waste time with whoever whoever the commanders have had at quarterback. Let's take a look, ladies and gentlemen. I actually have it pulled up. The commanders, 2018, Alex Smith, Josh Johnson, Colt McCoy, Mark Sanchez, and Tress Way. Or Tress Way was a punter. He, he threw one, one fake punt. Great, great job, guys. 2017, so this is the Kirk Cousin year. Okay, fine. 2019, Case Keenum, Dwayne Haskins, Colt McCoy. What are we doing? 2020, Alex Smith for eight games. This is post-injury. Alex Smith, Dwayne Haskins, Kyle Allen, Tyler, Taylor Heineke. 2021, Taylor Heineke, Garrett Gilbert, Kyle Allen, Ryan Fitzpatrick. This is not the way to win. This ain't it. This ain't the move. If you do this, you will not be good. It is that simple. You can't do this and be successful in the NFL in 2023, moving forward. Why have, if the question is, why have the commanders been irrelevant since 2018? This is why. Because look at this. When you have Josh Johnson playing four games, when you have Mark Sanchez playing games, it ain't going to work. That is why they are irrelevant. Go get a quarterback. And then if you say, well, there's no one to get, there's no one to trade for, there's no one in free agency, we, we just suck. Draft one. He's a bust. Draft another. I don't care. Keep drafting. Did you notice what happened once the Bengals got Joe Burrow? They got really good. Do you remember whenever the Bengals were up to, to pick and everyone was like, take Penny Sewell, take the offensive lineman, protect Joe Burrow, and they said, LMAO, we're taking Jamar Chase, we want more firepower? How did that work out? Worked out pretty well. The old school mentality of, you got to shore up the offensive line. You got to take uh, interior defensive linemen. No, you don't. You got to take the, oh, the best cornerback in college is available. Lockdown corner. No. Pass. Quarterback. Coach. That's what's important. That's it. Stars. Firepower. Offense wins championships. I can, I can already see the comments below. Lamau. Defense wins championships. You got you to gotta protect the quarterback. No, you don't. Nope. You don't. Obviously, you can't have the worst offensive line in football. But you got to have the quarterback first. You can, have the, you can have the Hall of Fame offensive line. Who are the best five offensive linemen of all time? You can have them in their prime. If Joe Johnson is your quarterback, or Josh Johnson, if Josh Johnson, Joe Johnson's a basketball player. If Josh Johnson is your quarterback, you're not winning nothing. You're sitting there with Kevin Mawai and whoever else on your offensive line, your Hall of Fame offensive line, and you ain't winning nothing. Okay, give me Tom Brady and the 19th best offensive line over Josh Johnson and the greatest offensive line to ever live. Here's my advice to the commander's new ownership group. Get a quarterback. Get a head coach. Did you notice what happened when Jacksonville switched from Urban Meyer to Doug Peterson? 
Big difference. Ron Rivera didn't even know he was eliminated from the playoffs last year. He's a clown. Rivera's a good guy. Sounds like he's a great person. Whatever. I'm sure he is. Right now, he might as well put big red, red shoes on, a big ball on his nose, because he's a clown. First thing I do, first thing I do is send out a letter to all the season ticket holders and maybe put it in the, you know, in the Washington Post, Washington Times, all every, any, any, any publication in Washington, D.C. is an open letter to Washington football fans. That's what you call them. Oh, this is what you also do. Change the name. Go back to the Washington football team. Love that name. The Commanders, everyone hates. And the Commanders is an, an old, you know, it's going to tie you back to Snyder. Change it to the Washington football team and say, we are ready to roll. We are about to be different. We are going to win. We're doing, we're doing all that stuff. We're, do, we're forgetting about Dan Snyder. We're forgetting about the Commanders. We're not a meme anymore. We are the Washington football team. Let's go. Washington football fans, this is a new day. We yes. are so excited to get to meet each and every one of you. Here's a website. Send us your ideas. We are open to any idea. What do you think we need to do? Even if you don't intend to follow it, you reach out to the fans and say, I am here. Yeah. The new owner. Could you, like, this is nuts. Could you imagine being like, what do you think we should do? I know. Go get Caleb Williams. Draft Caleb Williams. Get a quarterback. Quit rolling out Sam Howell, Dwayne Haskins, Josh Johnson, and Mark Sanchez. What do you mean? What should we do? Get rid of Ron Rivera. What are we talking about? Get rid of Rivera. Put Eric Bieniemy in charge. Let's roll. It, it doesn't need to be a 14-page questionnaire. We don't need to be asking questions about what do y'all think about the color scheme? What do y'all think about the concession stand? Do y'all like the venue? Do you, you know what, what songs do y'all want to hear play during halftime? GTFO with that. Get quarterback. Get coach. Win game. Ownership group is here, and we want to hear from you. Then... I call up whomever, or I'm sure this person is hired. There's somebody who is on the management team whose sole job is to reach out <laughs> to the business community of the Mid-Atlantic and rearrange the entire landscape that has been wrecked. Here's another little spoiler. You know what the best marketing tool is for a football team or basketball team or baseball team? Winning. Winning. Star players. Franchise quarterbacks. Remember that time Cincinnati was a total laughing stock? I've seen more Cincinnati Bengals jerseys and merch in the last two years than I've seen my entire life. Hmm. I wonder what changed. Anybody? Anybody out there want to put in the comments what y'all think changed in the last two years that made Cincinnati going from a complete laughing stock of a franchise to one of the sexiest franchises in sports? Anybody? By Dan Snyder. Re-engage the business community. On the spot, start finding the one individual or individuals who can help you build a new stadium. Figure it out if it's the I know who the one individual is. He's the starting quarterback for USC right now. You know, the old RFK side or whatever it is. I'm not terribly familiar with the landscape there. And then you change the name. Change the name because you're going to just erase every Yeah, trace. I agree with that. Yeah. Erase every trace. And then, you know what? Actually, might be the first, first, first order of business is fix that Sean Taylor Oh, oh yeah, man. The statue. statue that's yeah. not really a statue mm -hmm. that's behind glass. Yeah, it's awful. Give him a proper Get head. an actual bronze yeah. damn oh, statue. statue. That would be the first order of business yeah. to say, we understand you. Yeah. Because that was awful. Oh. Terrible.
we understand you. First order of business, we're getting a new Sean Taylor statue, and it's an actual statue, and it's going to be actually in front of the stadium that we're intending to raise down to the ground and get the hell out and go back to D.C. and change the name and everything that just happened over the last 30 years. It's part. You know, the last time Washington was relevant when they made the playoffs, you all remember who the quarterback was? I'll give you a hint. It was the Offensive Rookie of the Year, Robert Griffin, and he was the man. He was awesome. Sadly got hurt. You know, career, obviously, was never the same. But that's all it takes. That was his rookie season. And the Commanders went from joke to the playoffs. Sport, uh, today's, day, today's day and age of sports and roster building, IMO has never been easier. The NBA, what do you need? The NFL, what do you need? Stars. That's it. The NBA, you need two, three stars. And you can win. You have a chance. You don't have that, no chance. The NFL, you need a quarterback. Don't have it, no chance. You can go, you can, we'll do it right now. Let's go to the, let's go to the NFL standings page. Let's look at this. I can tell you right now who can win the Super Bowl this year and who, who can, might as well not even play. Cardinals, get them out. Uh, Falcons, get them out. Carolina, get them out. Tampa Bay, get them out. Chicago, get them out. Green Bay, get them out. Uh, Washington, get them out. Giants, get them out. Raiders, get them out. Texans, get them out. Uh, Titans, get them out. Colts, get them out. Steelers, get them out. Patriots, get them out. That's it. Those teams that I said get them out cannot win. They cannot win the Super Bowl. They can be good. The Steelers could be good. Kenny Pickett could be good, but he's not good enough to win the Super Bowl. Did I say Cleveland? Cleveland, get him out. Deshaun Watson is... I mean, he, he'd have to really turn back the clock. But, you know, I don't know if that's going to happen. That's it. It's that simple. You can go... Here, here's something else you can do. Before the season, rank the quarterbacks in the division. If you rank the quarterbacks in the division at the end of the year, it'll be pretty similar It'll be pretty similar to how it played out. Right here, AFC East, ranked the quarterbacks. Last year, Josh Allen, one. Two was hurt, so half of two and whatever, two. Mac Jones, Bailey Zappi, three. Zach Wilson, four. That's how I would rank them. That's how it played out. Let's go to the next one. Joe Burrow, Lamar, Kenny Pickett, Deshaun Watson. Yep, that's about right. Oop, that's how they finished. You can do it the whole way down. The whole way. And it land, it, every single one is pretty much it. NFC East. Hurts, Prescott, Jones, whoever we said was for the commanders. How it played out. Isn't that, isn't that wild? Like, it sounds so simple because it is so simple. Because it is. Right? It's wild. I mean, if you look at it, who's the second best quarterback in the in the AFC West? Justin Herbert. Where they finish? Second. You know, I, like if you're if you are a fan of like the Houston Texans last year, that's brutal. That's brutal to go into the season, and you're looking at Davis Mills, Kyle Allen. Jeff Driscoll, like this is what you're looking at. You know you don't have a chance. You know that it, we're cooked. Before the season even starts, you know, we, I mean, no chance at all. And then what happens? What happens? They go, not only are they 3-13, and 13, but they're minus 131 in points differential. which is by far, them and the Colts, by far the worst in the NFL. 
the Colts. I know a lot of people were high on Matt Ryan, but when you're rolling out Sam Ellinger and Nick Foles, that's what you're going to get. It is what it is. You know? So that's my advice for the commander ownership group. Make it easy on yourself. Go get a coach who knows how to win, who has one, let him stabilize the franchise and get you a quarterback. Let me know in the comments below, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about the ownership, the new ownership group of the commanders? Do you think the commanders can turn it around? What would you do if you bought the commanders? What would be your first order of business? Would it be making me the president of football operations? Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.